Hey guys, it's Dave from TheUnlogger.com and today I'm going to show you how to unroute the Samsung Galaxy Gear. That is, get it back to complete stock um, and undo anything that you've done to it while rooting and messing around. Okay, so this will not work on a Windows computer because the flashing program is made for Windows. First thing you do is download ADB drivers by clicking on this link here. Then click on this link here and saving that to your desktop. Also funny to note that Samsung spelled Android wrong. Whoops. Once that's done, you're gonna right click it, hit extract all, hit extract. Then open the folder, double click the exe inside, hit yes, and install the drivers. Next, we're going to download Odin, which is the flashing program, by clicking on that link there. Waiting for this to finish. And saving that to our desktop. Can then also right click that, hit extract all, extract, and you'll have that inside. Then, uh, download the appropriate stock firmware files for your device. If you're in the US, like I am, you're going to just click on this, well, at this time, it's the first one, it's the BTU United Kingdom one. Um, and you'll click on download link, not kernel. Uh, same thing for any of these other versions, if that's the version you have. And regular. And wait the stupid time limit, and then click it and download that and save it to your desktop as well. Then okay, we're going to put the device in download mode. To do that, we're going to power it off. Keep holding it. And once it says rebooting, just keep tapping the power button until we get this mode. And push it again to get to download mode. And then tap and hold for three. Three. Ugh. Try it again. Sometimes it doesn't work. Tap and hold for three. There we go. And now that it's in download mode, I'm going to plug it into our computer by using our little included dock. Okay, then we're going to double click the Odin EXE inside there. And we're going to right click our firmware file and extract all like we've been doing with pretty much everything else. Mm -hmm. Close that. And we're going to click the AP button and scroll down to our firmware file and click on the MD5 button and click open. Then click Start. And wait for it to finish. After that is done and says pass, you can unplug the device and then swipe over to settings. Scroll all the way down to reset gear and hit reset. And wait for that to finish. And once that's done, you should be completely back to stock. Enjoy. And there you go. I hope that helped some of you. And if you'd like to check out some of our other tips and tricks or other how-to videos, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.